Number 46. Suppose your 50 millimeter focal length camera lens uh, is 51 millimeters away from the film in the camera. Letter A. How far away is an object that is in focus? So they're giving us focal length. They're also giving us the image distance because the image is projected onto a film. And then they want to know how far away is the object. You know, so like if you had to kind of think of, you know, a little drawing here, it would be kind of like this. Here's your lens. They're telling you then a certain distance. I don't know. Put the object down here. It doesn't really make a difference. I mean, the, the numbers in the, in the formula will tell us what's going on and the signs. So let's just say that uh, the focal length here is going to be zero. Uh, why don't we leave everything in terms? Well, they're also giving us centimeters down here. So let's convert everything to meters just to be careful. So 0 0.05. All right, that's meters. Then this uh, distance here, this image distance is going to be 0 0.015. Uh, excuse me, 51. What the heck am I doing? I'm not really sure. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to try to calculate DO. Now we'll see if DO, right, if it turns out to be positive, it's going to be over here. Okay, so DO, let's assume it is and let's see what happens with the numbers. So we use the thin lens equation, 1 divided by the object distance plus then 1 divided by the image distance will be equal to 1 divided by then the focal length. I want to solve for DO, so simply move this on over to the right hand side, do a subtraction, right? You got this little thing, and then you can cross multiply now. So you bring this whole thing out of the denominator, then you got to bring this whole thing on down, okay? And that's now your equation. So now plug it all in. So it's 1 divided by then 1 over the focal length of 0 0.05 minus then 1 over 0 0.051. And let's see what we get, okay? So it's going to be, do the denominator first. 1 divided by 0 0.05 minus 1 divided by 0 0.051 is 0.39 and then do 1 divided by that value now so we get about 2.55 right so this is 2.55 it's positive by the way and that represent that is in meters and therefore I know since it's positive it's going to be on the opposite side of the image and it also should be upright okay so it'll be upright so this is now DO was 2.55 meters obviously this is not to scale all right but uh, that takes care of that one and then what is this? This is letter A. What are we doing here? Letter A. Hope you're having a nice semester so far. Right? You're like, yeah, man, it's great. I love this. So letter B. What is the height of the object if its image is two centimeters high? All right. So uh, what we can do now is uh, we can use our magnification formula. I did this a different way in another problem. So this time I'm going to choose a different way to do it. Other than that, try to show you different flavors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the left-hand side of this equation. I'm going to say that the image height divided by the object height will be equal to negative the image distance divided by the object distance from the lens, that is. So uh, they're asking, it says, what is the height of the object? So, well, that's what I'm trying to calculate there. And it says the image is two centimeters high. Make sure you convert that into meters. So what I'm going to do is start plugging it in, 0 0.02 over HO. And by the way, you can solve this for HO if you want it already. It doesn't really make a difference. Is equal to the negative now, the uh, image, all right, distance, which we said was now 0 0.051, divided by then that object distance, which was 2.55, right? These are all in terms of meters. So now to solve this for HO, all we simply do is bring this on over. Look at this. Watch. Bring this on down. Right? We do a whole bunch of crossing here. Look at how easy this is. And that's then multiplied now. Right? And you can get rid of that. And this is it. Bada bing, bada boom. Very simple. So this is now 2.55 multiplied by 0 0.02 divided them by negative 0 0.051. And it comes out to be negative 1. Negative 1. And that's in terms of meter. All right, so uh, the negative sign means that it is inverted, okay, from the uh, from the image. So this all depends, right? Negative sign, you might say, oh, wait, well, wait a minute, negative? That means it should be pointing down. What are you doing pointing it up? Well, again, it's all relative. It's all relative. If I pointed this down, right, if I pointed the height down, uh, technically, I probably should have then in my HI, okay, in my HI uh, value, 
I should have probably plugged in a negative uh, 0 0.02, okay? That would have then made this come out to be positive. And then you would have said, okay, great, that makes sense now. Sometimes when I'm doing this, right, I, I just, I, I know once if I get a negative value, it's opposite to then how I place this. So, you know, um, that's how I kind of think it through. But if you want to see this technically come out to be a positive, you would then, since I pointed this down, should technically plug in the negative sign there. Okay. And then it'll become out positive. But again, you know, I, I know that once this is negative, it's just opposite to whatever I pointed here. So that's why I know it's pointing up on the other side. Um, in any case, um, you know, so just leave it as a positive if you want. It doesn't matter. Put in your negative over there. And then um, it says, what is the height? Yeah. So the height is one meter. All right. And uh, notice that, uh, you know, the image is smaller, right? We get a, you can calculate the magnification if you want. You can do a whole bunch of things. Anyway. All right, I think that's it for this one. I will see you in the next problem, guys. All right, check out more of our videos. We've got a whole bunch of other subjects out there for you as well. Even if you're not using the OpenStax textbooks, we do go through those problems. And I virtually guarantee that any issues you might be having in your class, even if you're not using those books, uh, can be solved by taking a look at those problems and then uh, applying what we teach you in the videos to your particular question. All right, um, because... Right, the bottom line is these questions do not change depending upon textbooks. They don't even really change depending upon the colleges or the high schools you're in. So, you know, there you go. All right, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.